gonna do? You wanna get down? We're back with the Rod and Fez show. Thanks for being with us on a Friday. All right, uh, we were going to talking about movies that are coming out this weekend. It's time to talk to our movie critic, uh, the Polo. Polo, your life is a movie. Uh, hey, yeah, Polo, your life's a movie. How you doing? Uh, hey, Polo, your life's a movie. How are you? Oh, just great. Uh, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I, I got thrown out, so I'm I'm on the cell phone. I'm out of the house, so I'll, I can have some peace and quiet uh, during this conversation at least. What are you in the backyard? No, actually, I was down the road. Why did you go running down the road? What's going on tonight? I think nothing. She just, you know, she just. We, I didn't massage her enough earlier. We so. only want to do movie reviews when your wife is screaming in the background. I understand, and I don't. I don't want that because she was. She was uh, maybe one step up from normal. I mean, maybe closer to homicidal tonight. So All right. I didn't know. Uh, we we uh, have another guest on now, so we'll get in touch with you later on in the show. Okay, Paula? Okay, sir. All right, but you have a good night. We I want to talk these films with you, all right? All right, sir. All right, talk to you later. Thank mm -hmm. you, Paulo. I don't want to do movie reviews unless his wife is trying to kill him. Well, there's no fun in him talking from down the street on a bad cell phone. At the convenience store. We need crazy woman. Even though one night... Uh, Paul's really great. Paul's great. Uh, she was really, really happy. Other nights she gets absolutely insane, and that's the fun part. Here's Joe. Joe, you're on the Ron Fest show. Yeah, could you play the Bush quote a couple times? I have don't write so fast anymore. Oh, i got to write it down. You're trying to write the whole thing? Yeah. All right, what, and who are you sending it to? I'm not sending it anywhere. Just for yourself. I think it's the funniest thing I've heard in years. All right. Okay. We'll we'll uh, play it over right now. Okay. Thanks. Go grab your uh, pencil and paper. <laughs> Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. All right, let's give it to him one more time for him as the president turns on his own country. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. And neither do we. We're I, always thinking about how to harm our country. and our. What do you think he was trying to say there? Uh, that they're always trying to harm our country, but... We're always going to be on to them. I think is yeah, but that you couldn't make a mistake in the teleprompter saying that. I mean, was he trying to say we're always trying to harm them? He had to miss just one word. He couldn't have just suddenly went off ta target <laughs> and somehow started making up his own thoughts. Do you think? <laughs> no, because he's reading it too much. Yeah. So at what point did he miss a word? What what word could he have possibly missed? It, it's such a weird stretch. Sometimes he'll combine sentences, though, like when he called himself a big Texas girl. Yeah, but it, you can understand where he was going with that. With this, I don't see where the mistake would have been made. I don't see the faux pas. And it does sound pre-written for him, like someone set him up to do this. All right, let's listen to it one more time. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. I don't understand. The only thing I can get out of it, I think, is he wanted to tie us into the never stop, like never stop fighting terrorism. Yeah, but and a whole giant sentence is missing. What What would the sentence have been? But we will never stop trying to defend our country. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't fit the pattern of the way he was speaking. Uh, that's why I think he got into almost just a pattern of speaking and just decided to say, and neither will we. I think he just went totally off script. You, th think, you think he just went off on his own yeah. and thought, hey, this actually kind of has a Jesse Jackson moment. I'm going to hop in here and make it sound great. Yeah, exactly. Well, he got caught in a loop. Now, in Kentucky... All right, hold on. Uh... El Jefe believes he understands what was happening. Well, I'm from Texas, so uh -huh. I speak his language. All right, gotcha. I think, and I'm not a big Bush guy, but I think what he was saying is we also, too, are going to be imaginative and trying to figure it out, like, and keeping one step ahead of him as to what they could be doing. So we're going to try to figure out how to attack ourselves before they attack us. I, I think they're, because they, I see now that the CIA 
is getting like Hollywood directors and writers. That happened since 9-11. Yeah. Since 9-11, they started uh, asking uh, the Hollywood writers to go, okay, if you're writing a terrorist movie, what would you have them blow up or attack? Which is a little weird for me. I'm a little uncomfortable with that whole thing. And they keep think, they they say they need more imagination. So as long as they're never going to stop thinking about ways, we're never going to stop thinking about ways. But is that what you'd want to tell the American public? How did that fit into a conversation that would you would that would be like, kids? I'm going to think of ways to rape and mutilate you so I can stop pedophiles from doing it. I'm on the job. I'm going to think about ways I could torture your mom or maybe bury her in the backyard so I'm better able to defend uh, our family from maniacs. If it doesn't it, make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. And if it's written out, it's amazing that it, I can understand it getting past him. But everybody that a speech would have to go past? Well, obviously he made a mistake. They even said his, even plain talkers make mistakes. I just don't see where the mistake would hop in, where you would go off script. Here's Zombie. Zombie, you're on Fez. Hey, buddies, what's happening? Oh, you got to speak up a little, pal. Oh, sorry about that. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, kind of. Okay, well, um, I, it sounded like you were touching on this a little bit, but what I think the president meant was we're always thinking about ways that other people can attack and harm our country, and we've got to be able to have a contingency to deal with those situations. <sighs> yeah, but why would you say that out loud? Why would that be ever a, a healthy thing for a country to be doing? Here's uh, James. James, you're on Hey, James. Uh, yeah, hey. How are you, uh, my friend? Actually, the last two callers kind of took what I was going to say, but you're saying why would he say that? Yeah. He's basically, it, just like now, they made the 9-11 Commission because everybody wanted somebody to blame and wanted to say they weren't doing enough. So now he's trying to say, uh, and this, okay, I'm not him, so I'm just saying what I'm thinking. Yeah. But uh, I think what he's trying to get across is we're always going to be trying to figure out what they're going to do next. Just like everyone else said, they're going to say one Yeah, I understand. Like, they're always going to be honest. To, we'll always have, be vigilant. That would make some kind of sense. I have to admit, the way he said it, he kind of come across like a fool. Yeah. All right. Thank you very <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> no matter what the explanation is, it's a long way around to get to it. Yeah, it really is. Now, in Kentucky, they're having problems with their license plates. Nobody likes the new K Kentucky uh, license plates. Uh, what is it? They have a big smiley face on them. It's uh -huh. like a big smiley face sun, mm -hmm. and it's known as Mr. Smiley. And the Kentuckians are embarrassed to have Mr. Smiley on their plates so much that the state is having to issue stickers that you can put on your plate legally and cover up the smiley face. Now, is it like the old uh, 1970s have a nice day face? Uh, to me, I think it's kind of like the old Raisin Bran son. The, the, the I'm cartoon. starving. The Seriously. Car <laughs> I could use uh, more raisins, lots more raisins. The cartoon son that has two scoops. So everyone's humiliated by their childish cartoon license plates. So we're at the point now where the license plate is so bad, the state now has given up a sticker saying, cover up the part of your license plate. That is so embarrassing. We don't like Mr. Smiley. Yeah, embarrassing picture, embar embarrassing cartoon, embarrassing name. I think people are ashamed to put Mr. Smiley on their cars. Well, I mean, why would you be ashamed? Everybody else has it on there. You know what I mean? It's like being in a nudist colony now. You can't be like, oh, I'm naked. Everybody's naked. That's the one place that you don't really feel naked. I guess there's people that think they have, like, a badass Camaro, El Camino, or something <laughs> like that, and they don't want Mr. Smiley bringing down the looks of the car. I don't understand it. And Mr. Smiley in Kentucky, that's, uh, that's a little off anyway. Why don't they just go with Mr. Mullet? So everybody's wearing <laughs> Mr. Mullet, letting you know you're from Kentucky. The Kentucky Waterfall. Or since it's in uh, Kentucky, are you sure it's not the uh, the... Walmart rollback smiley face? <laughs> it could be. The one that slashes prices. Yeah. You're Mr. Walmart. Welcome to Kentucky. <laughs> oh, Mr. Walmart. I don't know. I just say go with Mr. Toothless. Is Mr. <laughs> smiley so offensive? Just go completely opposite way and it'd be more apropos. 
866-277-4969. What about, instead of Mr. Smiley, Kentucky goes with Mr. Clanhead? And it's just that big, pointy Clanhead. And no one's going to be embarrassed of Mr. Clanhead. I bet it, even if Mr. Clanhead was smiling, people would still go for it. I don't know if it's so much the smile on the thing. All right, I, I got one that they can feel proud of. Mr. Sixth Grade Education. Nice. <laughs> Let people know. Let people know that it's not your kid, but you're the honor roll student with one at the, the elementary school. With one of those graduation caps and a big <laughs> six on it. I don't know. It's Kentucky. Just go with Mr. Uncle Daddy. That way everyone everyone has the same plate. <laughs> Uncle Daddy. <laughs> They're all registered in the same name. It's Kentucky. So they're really just up in arms about Mr. Smiley. There. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. Mr. Incest might be a better name for him. Mr. GED, just to, just so they can enjoy themselves. Be proud of the accomplishments of Kentucky. Or maybe even Mr. Night School. Mr. Night School. I love it. Some of these things are working for me. 866-277-4969. Kentucky not happy. With the Mr. Smiley license plates, says it really doesn't set off the way they feel about their state. And I don't blame them, Fez. You'd think something like that would get approved so that the whole state doesn't have to turn on the license plate. Then they got the cost of stickers. And Lord knows what the stickers are that they're putting over these things. I guess rebel flags. I don't know. How about Mr. Gunrack? Where everybody can feel proud of themselves. Hey, I'm Mr. Gunrack. Welcome to Kentucky. People would like to see Mr. Roadkill. Maybe if it's just a possum or something, you know, four paws to the sky. Right. It's that simple. And it could still be smiling. That's the nice part about it. They wouldn't have to change that. All right, Crazy Jen came in. She wants to yell something out. Hey, how about, is that Mr. Paper or Plastic with that? <laughs> And he's got his brother, Mister. You want some fries? <laughs> All right, you're being mean. Kentucky not happy with Mister Smiley. I would just call it Mister Jen. Eight six six two seven seven forty nine sixty nine. Ryan, you're on run a fez. Yeah, about Mister One Tooth. Just Mister One Tooth, fezzy. Mister One Tooth is here. If he's going to be so smiley. Just show the actual <laughs> dental work that's Eight, going on. 866-277-4969. Here's Sean. Sean, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, I think it's uh, Mr. Oral Hygiene. Just Mr. Oral Hygiene, Fez, as a way of feeling proud of your license plate there. Well, you're going to want something they can understand. Yeah. Who is this Oral Hygiene? <laughs> is he an evangelist? <laughs> you don't want to confuse him too much in Kentucky. Yeah, sure. What about the uh, Mr. Kentucky Headhunters? Remember that band that everybody loves so much? They were great, Mr. Mutton Chops. <laughs> See, if you just kind of redesign Mr. Smiley a little bit, I'm sure everyone will just embrace him. Uh, here's one on the instant feedback from uh, Yo Mutter. Uh, what about Mr. Chawface? Just Mr. Chawface is coming to town. <laughs> Mr. Moonshine. Here's another one on the Insta feedback. Mr. Dirty Derby. That's who represents Kentucky right there. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't have your name here. Hi, you're on Runa Fez. Hello. Yes, what do you got for us for Kentucky? How about uh, Mr. Nobody Gives a Damn About Our State anyway, so why don't we stop complaining? That's not a bad way to go, Fezzy. <laughs> Here's uh, Josh. Josh, you're on the uh, Ron and Fez show. How are you? I'm good. I yeah. was thinking, how about Mr. Mullet? Just Mr. Mullet. That's the name. <laughs> Actually, we could even put Crazy Jen up there. 866-277-4969. Hey, Ash. Ash, you're on Ron and Fez. How's it going? Yeah. How about Mr. Double Wide? Mr. Double Wide. That's Kentucky. That's for the fancy cars. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. Hey, Jay. Jay, you're on the Run of Fest show. Mr. Banjo, maintenance engineer. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Plumber's Crack. Here's uh, Mike. Mike, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Run of Fez. Hey, buddy. Go ahead. Hey, how about Mr. 
here. I'm the manager of the trailer park. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know why. You know, it could be worse than Mr. Smiley. That's the only thing we're trying to point out here, Fezzi. Mr. Smiley, not exactly the uh, uh, worst you could ever have. All right, here's one on the Insta feedback. How about Mr. Missing Chromosome? Does that make him happy in Kentucky? <laughs> How about Mr. Ponytail? How about Mr. My Baby's Daddy's on Parole? <laughs> you seem perfect for it. 866-277-4969. Alex, you're on a Fez. How about Mr. Moonshine? Mr. Moonshine. Nice, Mr. White Lightning. Here's uh, Kevin. Kevin, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, how about uh, Mr. Incest? Yeah, that's almost a little too blunt. They might have to deal with it. Sean, what do you got for Kentucky? How about uh, Mr. Domestic Violence? All right. See, this fuzzy, no one would be proud of that license plate. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. That would be more like Mrs. Smiley with a blackened eye and a missing tooth. <laughs> Mi Mrs. I better learn to keep my mouth shut when my man's watching the ball game. Just put out two plates. One will have Mr. Racial Profiling on it. Here's uh, Peter, your man of Fez. Hey, how about Mr. Gunner? I'm in, okay, there you go. Here's uh, Grady. Grady, you're on what the run. Buddy? Hey, buddy. How about uh, Mr. Bring Back Slavery? All right, thank you very much. <laughs> See, it could be worse. It could be worse right now. Chris, you're on run of Fez. Hello? Yeah, buddy, what do you got? How about bluegrass ass? Mr. Bluegrass ass, Fuzzy. <laughs> Who wants that on your license plate? That's, see, now that, then there's going to be more trouble. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. Hey, Lee. Lee, you're on Ron and Fez. How about Mr. Screw You for uh, the $150 ticket I got on my way to Graceland? There you go. And by the way, Elvis never took dope. Elvis never took dope. Uh, let me go here to uh, Greg. Greg, you're on running Fez. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, buddy. Hey, how about Mr. Shirtless? Mr. Shirtless, welcome to <laughs> Kentucky. 866-277-4969. Off the instant replay, Fez. Mr. Jug with three X's on it. That's what they should be called. <laughs> Mr. Menthols has popped up. Mr. My Other Car is on Blocks. Mr. I Have No Teeth Face. <laughs> Mr. I Hope That Truck's American Made. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Wrangler. Mr. Wrangler. Or Mr. Dungaree, as they're still <laughs> called in Kentucky. Those are comfortable. David, you're on the air. How about Mr. Gunrack? All right, thank you very much. And he's loaded. Michael, what do you got for us? Hey, the word incest is too large. It needs to be my cousin, my wife. Thank you very much. Mr. My Cousin, <laughs> my wife. 866-277-4969. Fez, can you believe what we're in the middle of right now? Comedy pyramid. Comedy pyramid. Comedy pyramid. Can you feel it, Dubs? It's building its way. It's a joke pyramid. Comedy pyramid. Comedy pyramid. Comedy pyramid. And we're building it on the backs of fine Kentuckians. Because they're not happy, Fez. They're not happy with Mr. Smiley that's on the license plate right now. Here's Larry. Larry, you're on a fez. Larry, hey, how's it going? Go ahead. Um, how about Mr. Ass, Gas, or Grass? Nobody rides for free. Thank you very much. <laughs> always always a uh, funny bumper sticker. <laughs> Erica, you're on a fez. How about Mr. Wife Beater? Mr. Wife Beater, fez. That could end up being on their license plates. Brandon, what do you got for us? Uh, yeah, you could have uh, Mr. Deliverance, and Ma underneath it, you could say, squeal like a piggy. All right, there you go. Nobody wants that. And no one's going to want to cover that with a sticker. Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. 866-277-4969. Ali, Ali, or I'm Ron and Fez. Yeah, hi, uh, Ron and Fez. How about Mr. Assman? Mr. Assman, Fezzy Larry. Oh, Larry, you're on Ronnie Fez. How about Mr. Lynch em all and let God sort them out? Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Lynch Mob. That would be interesting on the back of a car. You do not have to limit yourself to uh, Mr. Smiley. You don't have to limit yourself. Hey, how about Mr. Them Ditch Dixie Chicks? I right, take, take it up from <laughs> the beginning. Oh. Take it easy. Oh, uh, sorry. All right, ready? Mr. Them Dixie Chicks got a bad rap. And I got another one. <laughs> hey, mister, I can't believe you ain't never eaten coon. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Clay, Clay, what do you got for us? Sarah, Sarah, what should they have on the Kentucky license plate? 
Mr. Grown Man in overalls. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Green Jeans would be nice on there. Hey, uh, Max. Max, what do you have? Mr. Uncircumcised. All right. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. Joe, what do you got for us? Mr. Oxycontin. Thank you very much. That's the hillbilly heroin. <laughs> Everybody likes that in radio, Fez. Uh, Bobby, Bobby, you're on Ron Fez. How about uh, I wear a flag, not a rag? Thank you. That's a little callback to yesterday's story <laughs> about the great Charlie Daniels. Mr. Here's... Smiley can have a big beard and a giant hat. Mark, what do you got for her? Fez, you'll like this one. Yeah. Ready? No shoes, no shirt, no dice. There you go. <laughs> no statehood. <laughs> you missed the uh, you missed Mr. Part. Uh, Fat Boy, what do you got? Mr. Married to his cousin. Thank you very much. Always easy to go back to that one. <laughs> Here's uh, Larry Noid. What do you got? Mr. Mouth Cancer. Oh, some of these oh. are just mean. 866-277-4969. 866-277-4969. Kentucky trying to come up with the uh, new uh, replacement for Mr. Smiley, Fuzzy, because the people don't like it. They hate their license plates. Here's Grap. Grap, you're on run of Fuzz. How about Mr. I hate blacks, Mexicans, and Chinese people? <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a little more blunt than I want. <laughs> but there you go. You're on the... Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. Here we go. Uh, here's uh, Ed. Ed, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. How about Mr. Spittoon? <laughs> Mr. Spittoon. How about Mr. Them City People Don't Know What They're Missing? Thank you very much. Frank, you're on Ron and Fez. Yeah, Mr. Live Free or Die. Isn't that a different state, has that? Yeah. yeah I think, what is it, Connecticut? Vermont? Stop New Hampshire? New some, somebody up in New England. New Hampshire? Kathy, what do you got for us? How about one day we're going to have fresh running water? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Outdoor Plumbing. Here's Ernest. You're on Run Fez. How about Mr. Business in the front, party in the back? Thank you. Here's Bill. Bill, what do you got? Yeah, how about Mr. Made it myself in the big house plate? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everybody makes their own plates. <laughs> AJ, what do you got? I got Mr. Sister Lava. Okay. Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. To go along with Mrs. Cousin. Here's uh, Vinny. Vinny, what do you got for us? Buddy. Hey, buddy. Mr. Picture Dog, not your date. All right. Thank you very much. Here's uh, Bobo. Hey, buddies. How about Mr. If a girl's old enough to sit at the table, she's old enough to eat. All right. Here you go. Uh, Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. <laughs> looking to replace Mr. Smiley. Looking to replace Mr. Smiley right now in Kentucky, Fez. Yeah, they hate the license plates so bad with the smiley face. They're putting stickers over them. Just a, just a shame. Here's John. What do you got for Kentucky? Hey, buddy. Yeah. I got a... Uh, Mr. First thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Mr. Shunet's of food. How about Mr. Charlton Heston is my president? Thank you. Uh, Eric, what do you have for us? Mr. Mouth Breather. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, what should Kentucky have on their license plate? Mr. Harlot. Thank you. <laughs> Bill, what do you got for Kentucky? <laughs> I got to have Mr. Let's lynch a Negro. All right. There you go. Uh, Steve. Mr. I love my corn wine. Kentucky, Fezzy, I don't understand it. Mr. It ain't a rodeo till you ride the horse. All right. I don't know. I don't even know where you're going there. I think it's something your uncle said to you, and it makes me nervous. Uh, Ryan, what do you got for the people of Kentucky? How about Mr. Redneck Heaven? Thank you. I like when you hear the uh, minority uh, languages coming in that pound. <laughs> What about this? Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. Comedy Pyramid. All right, we're all putting the boots to Kentucky tonight, Fez. <laughs> yeah, but Mr. Poverty Gene, their new uh, license plate that they're looking for. You see, they did not uh, like their old uh, license plate. They had the Mr. S Smiley face on there. We thought maybe we could help them out and do a little better. Nobody likes Mr. Smiley. Will, what's better? Uh, I'm a Mr. Illiterate, and uh, illiterate is spelled incorrectly. All right, Mr. Illiterate. Who wouldn't love that on their license plate, Fez? Mr. Misspelled. Here's uh, Chris. Chris. Hey, how about Mr. Skull, the three-legged coon dog? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> My best friend. Uh, Joe, what do you got? Hey, I got Mr. Bush Pounder. 
All right, that's enough. Uh, Bill, what do you have for us? I got Mr. Trying to work my way up to Mr. West Virginia. <laughs> I say. <laughs> Bill, you're going to the top of the comedy pyramid. We're going to send you into the big ass prize closet. Enjoy yourself tonight, all right, sir? That's uh, the winning cowbell. We're going to be back in just a few moments. It is the Ron Fez show.